What's happening guys? Um, I just kind of wanted to give you um, a little preview of what I'm working on with my renewable energy project. Um, you can see where the sun is right now, right there. But anyway, um, so I haven't been able to put much effort into this simply because you can see here we've had an enormous amount of snow. It is finally melting. There is finally a path leading to my storage shed. And I will show you what I'm going to be doing. Now, I don't have anything built yet, but you can see on top of the shed there, I actually have room for five 100 watt panels. And what I'm going to do to make sure that uh, the panels don't get stolen is I'm going to build the panels on a custom. Uh, rack that's made out of wood and it's going to be flush with the actual uh, roof of the shed okay and I'll show you uh, in a second the inside but essentially I'm going to have all five panels laying on the same rack that I'm going to build and the panels themselves are going to cover up the bolt holes that are going to go through the roof to the underside okay uh, that is so that if anybody wants to actually steal the panels, they're going to have to get into the shed and then they're going to have to uh, undo the bolts from the inside. So the panels themselves are going to be physically attached to the rail that I'm going to be building. And in order to get the panels off the rail itself, you actually have to get the panels off of the roof. And in order to get the panels off of the roof, you actually have to come in from underneath. And I'll show you what I mean. Alright, so here's the inside of the shed. Now, it's actually kind of warm in here. Uh, it's about 45 outside right now. But anyway, um, so you can see that uh, the inside of the roof of the shed has uh, these 2x4s that are running across. And there's one, two, three, four, and there's a fifth one all the way in the back. Which one, that one doesn't actually matter. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to bring the measurements so that the bolts themselves are going to come through here, right about here. And what they'll do is uh, they'll come down and then I'll use some, uh, some hex nuts and lock it in place. So essentially, as I said before, you're going to have to be inside the shed. So that you undo the hex nuts and then you can obviously take it off the roof. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have uh, two on each row. So there'll be one up in the front there, one up here, and then I'm going to do that all the way across. Okay. Now I did take measurements of this before and believe it or not the solar panels are actually real close to the width of these uh, uh, two by fours here so it should line up just fine now I'm gonna have to get it on my CAD program and uh, crunch the numbers and make sure it's all okay but disappointingly I'm gonna do this for both sides I'm gonna have two rows or two racks I'm gonna have a rack on this side and then a rack on that side but if you look over here you can see where Dish Network decided that uh, they needed to uh, go ahead and drill into this and you can see what a bad job they did I mean they didn't really care where they drilled it as long as they got it installed and they went I mean they get paid commission or a flat rate I don't know it doesn't matter what it is but anyway so you can see there where they really screwed that up um, so I do have to get the uh, the dishes off the roof and then I'm gonna have to seal that up so that it doesn't leak water into the, the shed but uh, yeah, so anyway, you can see uh, I'm going to have two racks. I'm going to have one on each side. So you can see where the sun is at in the top of the sky right there, okay? So in the winter months, this side of the shed here is actually going to get the most exposure. It should get exposure most of the day because the sun is actually going to come off in this direction and then it's going to come up above the shed and then you can see where it's starting to set there. Now we're not even close to summer solstice right now. So I still have plenty of sun that's going to be coming up. Even in the worst months of the winter time, I'm still going to get plenty of exposure on this side. Now in the winter time, I'm not going to get as much exposure 
on this side. Now I'm getting exposure now, as you can see, but the, the, the sun is up quite high in the sky right now and it's gonna get better towards summer. So in the summertime, at its peak, it's gonna shine directly down on the shed. In the wintertime, it's mostly gonna hit the other side. But I should be able to fit 10 panels on the top of this shed here, okay? Another thing that I'm gonna be doing once I wire the 10 panels together is I'm gonna have a combiner box right here, okay? The combiner box is there just so that uh, if an electrician happens to come by, you know, my energy company or whatever, then I can actually have the safety disconnect switch there, okay? Um, and then, because they already ram this underground pipe right here that actually runs all the way up to the house, I'm actually going to use that pipe to run the wire. I'm going to be using um, the underground burial rated wire. It's a four gauge wire, and I'm going to run that all the way to the house. Now, if you've seen my previous video on my renewable energy, you'll know that uh, it's going to take me approximately 60 feet in order to get this uh, from here to there inside. I'm going to run it underneath and it's going to go inside into the master bedroom, okay? So that's where I'm going to be uh, running the wire, all right? So I'll get rid of this. I'll get rid of the two dishes. I'll seal up where they decided to drill. I don't even know why there's two dishes here. It's ridiculous. I'll seal up where they drilled, and uh, then I'll go ahead and uh, get this thing installed. But it looks like to me they buried one wire, and then they used the uh, uh, pipe for the rest of the wire. So again, you know, we'll just uh, we'll just have to uh, wait and see exactly how it all works out. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, these can go. So when am I going to get this done? Well, I have to start building the frame first and I have to get all the measurements exact because I don't want to drill into this roof and then hit this 2x4. That'd be the worst thing because then how the hell am I supposed to, uh, unless I use a you know a 6 inch bolt or something, how the hell am I supposed to um, be able to get access to it? So I got got to get my measurements all down, double check them, get it on the CAD program, and then uh, I should start building this. And then I'll get the panels up on the roof, and I'll get some more videos of the actual install. So really looking forward to getting this done. I've already got the permission of the community to do this, so I don't have to worry about uh, somebody complaining that I've got panels on my roof. And uh, this is the perfect shed for putting panels up on the roof it really is so anyway uh, if you guys have any questions hopefully in the next few months or so I'll be able to finish this up and I'll have a really nice uh, renewable energy source so all right well I'll catch you guys later